Greetings, welcome back to Pink on Bird. Today we are here to resume working on our little junk mail book. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, my friends. So today, um, what I think we will do in this episode is we are going to start getting a base down on some of these pages. Um, because as you know, it is junk mail. So there is like a lot of like writing and stuff like that on there that you may not want depending on how you actually want your journal to be designed. Um, I think that this one is just going to be kind of like a, an art ish kind of book for me. So, I'm going to do like some backgrounds, like pre backgrounds, I guess, for whenever I get to that point in the book. So to do that, what I thought would be perfect is something that we all have. If you noticed, we haven't spent any money. I think probably the scissors is the only thing I've used that I probably have spent money on so far. Oh, and the bone folder. But these are essentially free if you have them already. <laughs> um, so what I thought that we would use to start covering and getting a base down is scraps, which is something that we all have, right? So I have my huge jumbo rumbo scrap box next to me. So I guess we'll just spend a little bit of time today working through and, um, you know, getting some bases down for some of these pages. I probably won't have you guys sit with me for the whole thing because it, there is kind of a lot of pages here, but, um, you know, we can get started on it together and you guys will get the gist of it. So here we go. So the two new elements that we'll be using today are glue. So again, um, if you don't have glue, um, I guess you could use tape if you want to. Um, and I have this box next to me. <laughs> it's kind of eating into my, you know, craft space goes like this. It, it just, it goes and it's just like, how? <laughs> All right. So the cool thing is though, my scraps are very varied and I think and I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do this terribly perfect either just because it's it's gonna be an art book and if it's too perfect it's gonna make me not want to <laughs> use it <laughs> um grab my bone folder so my scraps are super varied so I think that's gonna make for some interesting you know, um, kind of like almost sort of like a prompt for, you know, whatever the day is in the book, whatever, whatever day you open, whatever, what am I trying to say? Words are hard. Uh, you know, it's kind of like a visual prompt. So whenever you sit down to start working in the book, you could see, oh, this is leafy and birdie. So maybe you want to do something leafy and birdie on it, you know? And I'm not necessarily going to be covering like the whole, whole page. Um, because I do want there to be some other kind of like space, you know, so actually, why don't I do this? Oh, that's perfect. Sometimes things just work themselves out <laughs> and you don't even need to try. So I hope that you guys really will enjoy this little series. Um, I, I, like I said, I have made these before with you guys, but I haven't really, I don't think I have made one using junk mail. I've made one using cereal boxes and paper bags. I've made one with, um, what else did I do? Um, oh, I made one out of a toothpaste box before. I've used old books that were falling apart. And what else? Um, I think that might be it. Maybe. Maybe. But yeah, so we're doing junk mail this time. All right, and so since I let that one go straight across, I might as well do this backside since I have it open. Ooh, this box, you guys, is so full. It's really kind of ridiculous. I, you know what? Um, and I can see that this paper was, this was folded. So I'm gonna just. This is also a way that you can strengthen the pages if they're folded. Um, so I'm just gonna put this where that fold was. 
Okay, and now just gonna pop it back in place like so. Cool, we're off to a start. Okay, so um, I'm not sure if I'll really edit on this video or if we'll just make it like a whole a whole little moment where we just craft. I know sometimes you guys like the full length unedited kind of style because then it's kind of like, you know, you're crafting with someone. And then there's times where you just wanna pop on and just be like, all right, on with the show. <laughs> what kind of viewer are you? What do you prefer? All right, oh my gosh, I have so much scraps. I don't even know. Here, let's just. Oh, and I like this because it's textured paper. It's gonna be really good to, you know, hopefully make a dent. This is also, you don't have to put, you know, something on every page if you don't want to. Um, cause it is also going to start bulking up your book. You see how that one is folded there? Um, it is going to bulk up your signatures. However, I do know that, like I said, I personally am going to be using this for art. Ooh, that's just pretty. Um, so I'm not terribly, um, going to be adding a lot of things to this book. It'll probably be mostly like paints and stuff like that. Drawing, doodles, sketches, things like that. Um, and I put this upside down. Um, stuff like that for this book for me. So I'm not too worried about, like after I add in this, um, you know, it's pr everything else that I potentially would add, even if it's like die cuts or something, will be pretty flat. So it's a really nice day today outside today too. Very peaceful. Uh, it's Easter today actually. Um, so happy Easter everyone. <laughs> Um, I hope you had a good holiday. I know things are starting to like open back up again. So people are going more places now and traveling and doing more stuff. Okay, again, I wanna put something over that. I'm trying not to um, put too many of the same kind of um, uh, colors in the same area. Um, so yeah, what I was thinking too is after we get the, well, after we get this part done, I guess, um, the next thing I'll probably do is gesso on some of these pages so that they're prepped because this is just, you know, mail paper. It's not like <laughs> world-class art drawing paper. Um, so But, you know, sometimes, like, you don't even know what you want to do. But I think if you have a book like this and you use the scrap papers that we're putting down as visual prompts, um, I think that's great because, you know, it's really going to give you, like, a jumping point. Let's see. This is kind of cool. Kind of galaxy. Here. Oh, yeah, might as well because this is kind of galaxy too. I know you can do, you know, when you start your pot, your scraps start stacking up, and you're just like, oh, I need to do something with these. And I'm pretty sure none of us are at a sh um, at capacity with what we can do with our scraps, right? <laughs> Okay, so maybe I'll leave that one plain because it's just a plain old white. Um, man, I've got all kinds of scraps in here. Some of these scraps. Um, sometimes I wonder why I save the scraps that I save because I'm just like, um, did you really need to save that one? <laughs> Were you going to use that again ever in life? Oh, I have napkins in here too. Oh, this is a 
toil kind of a well, you know what, too? Maybe we'll let this one run across a different page. What did I grab over here? Let's do... That's a cool one. This is a really nice scrap. Uh, I think I might save that for actual... <laughs> Welcome to my life! <laughs> uh, here. Oh! Something fell. Okay, we can use these. There's been a bird um, kind of like around lately and I don't know what bird it is, but he has the coolest chirp. I need, I feel like I need to get some binoculars so I can find this little critter, but he's lurking around here lately and he has the coolest chirp. It's like, beep, beep, beep. wait, no, <laughs> it's like, beep, 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 beep. I don't know. I Maybe you guys will hear it in the background. He does it much better than I do. <laughs> I, I should just do the perim outer perimeters to save on glue. Does anybody bird watch? I think it would be a fun little hobby, bird watching. I think so. Yes, I do. This one I'll just use the glue stick because it's a thinner, thinner paper. All right. Did you hear it? Maybe if I stop talking for a little bit, you guys will hear it. <laughs> I know sometimes when I'm doing my videos, you guys can hear the crows. <laughs> My homies. I, I love it when they come out when I'm doing like a gothic book. <laughs> it's just the ambiance. It's a murder outside. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness me. Goodness my. I used to buy a lot of like um, single sheet paper from the scrapbook store. Um. <clears throat> because I love buying from like scrapbook stores and stuff like that because um, usually they are, uh, you know, small businesses locally owned. So it's nice to support them whenever you can. Um, so I would go to those and buy lots of just loose opened, what do they call it? Um, what does Joanne's call it? They call it um, open stock, open stock paper. So it's not getting too bulky yet, and we've added a good little amount of scraps in here, and we're still only on the first signature. <laughs> so, um, how long has it been? It's been 17 minutes so far. I've even got digital kit scraps. Which, you know, it's nice to um, use this kind of stuff for like collaging. That's always fun. Your scraps. But... If you guys could see, like this box is probably like 20 inches by 16 inches by like eight inches. And it's just filled to the brim. So I'm kind of at wit's end. I'm like, okay, something's gotta give here. <laughs> and if you wanted, you could even use your scraps. Like you can see, um, just cover these pages up totally, you know, um, and you don't have to do like little tears like I'm doing because like I said, I'm going to have, this is going to be kind of like the setup for the background. That makes sense. Um, but you can totally cover your pages, uh, like in totality. Let's see. Papers, papers, papers. I think like there's probably more scraps. Look, why did I save that? <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I feel like crying. It's too much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I won't cry. I will be overwhelmed, but I will not cry. 
guess since I saved it, I might as well use it. Okay, we added something there and there. Let's put something here. It's probably, you guys are probably like, what is this? It looks weird. <laughs> it's looking weird. Oh, I like that page already. It has its own, own background. So we'll leave you be. But on the other side, we can add this. Perfection. Um, maybe I'll use a glue stick. Hopefully it won't raise up whenever I actually do art on top of it. All right, so this is gonna be the center of the signature. Oh, you know what? And I have like random, um, I think this, since we're doing art, right? It's gonna be an art book for me anyway. I think putting, um, I have like random um, digital prints. So, you know, um, I would even stick these in here because you can always print those again later. Um, but these might make neat focal points. Like if you don't draw, like I try to draw, <laughs> um, but I don't really draw, draw. Let's see, let's put it right about there. And I like it because um, it actually Oh, it actually kind of matches with this. Put it a little bit crooked, but ooh, that's bugging me, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll survive. This is not supposed to be perfect, April. This is not supposed to be perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect, April. It ain't gonna be perfect. Mm. Let me see what we've got inside of the bin. Well, I guess I could put this music sheet here. Oh. There goes the lid to my glue. Ooh. Okay. This is probably why I don't do videos like this because then you guys can really just see how weird I am. <laughs> probably should just stick to doing the ASMR ones, huh? Where I just craft and it's quiet. <laughs> then I'll, then everything that you're hearing right now is really what's just in my head. <laughs> you just don't hear it. You just don't hear it. I have to keep my eye on the time so I don't keep you guys here all day. <laughs> all right. I don't know why I have so much shiplap paper. It's weird. <laughs> okay. Put this here. And I'm just going to Put this over here. Another focal point. All right. I might have time to do one more sign signature with you guys. <laughs> um, and then after that, I will finish the rest off camera. But I hope you guys are who I know some of you guys said that you would be doing this along with me. So I hope that you are having fun. And, you know, this is just a really casual Thing to do okay so this signature is done <clears throat> this is nothing that you have to you know stress about or you know wonder if you're doing it right or wrong because there is none of that here oh I've got some old map page here this is a vintage map page where is this Buffalo Niagara Falls it's an old shell um, remember when the gas stations used to have these <laughs> Shoot, speaking of it, remember when we actually used to read maps? Like, no, you can't zoom in on the street. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm also happy that the weather is starting to finally get warm again. Oh, you guys, I can't stand it when it's cold. I can't do it. I really can't do it. <laughs> it is not for me. The great irony in that is I love when it rains, which it usually tends to be cold, but yeah, you know what? I guess everything doesn't have to be straight. I'm just going to YOLO it. All right. I got some solid colors here that I don't really use very much, obviously. You know, the other thing that you can do with strips and stuff like this 
you can emboss them and use them to make like paper collages. That's also fun. Maybe we can do that one day. Just make a whole bunch of little paper clusters. Seems like that little bird has probably flown the coop. I don't know where he went. But the other day I was walking and he was a little bit further down the way. So I think he goes over there too. But I put some bird food out and some water. So I'm trying to like, I know it's going to take a little while because um, I had some neighbors before that actually had um, bird seed out. And um, they don't, where they had their bird seed, they didn't have anything covering. Um, they didn't have anything covering you know, the line of view for birds. Um, so obviously the birds discovered that there was food and as a result, they would come and hang out on my, um, like the balcony and they would hang out on the balcony and, um, you know, swoop down there to get some food. But then I also, um, had, uh, put some, food out there for them once or so and then I ran out and then it took me forever to go get more <laughs> but now they don't come really and so I'm trying to like get them to remember that there's like a bird restaurant here <laughs> so I put water because I read that birds can hear water I guess apparently so I mean maybe I'm I was hearing that wrong I don't really know I've got book page scrap too yeah, it, the book definitely doesn't look like very much right now. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. Also, if you wanted to, you could Mod Podge these down, but eh. Let me, ugh, it's starting to do this. Let me, <laughs> let me clean it up a little bit because things are getting buried. It's awesome, Josh, you see? Does anybody else just randomly do accents? Like I, um, I, I used to love that little character. I think he was, um, I want to say he came in on the Looney Tunes cartoons and he was like a little man, um, with the trench coat and a hat. Does anybody else remember that? Okay. So we're getting down to the wire here. Well, we haven't even gotten to the back part of the signature yet. Let's see if I can speed it up a little bit. Go a little bit faster. At least I will have done two signatures and you guys will know what it's like to spend uh, 45 minutes or so with April. <laughs> Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Oh, oh. This is a thinner paper too. So I'm just gonna use the stick glue for it. All right, so I only have a few more pages to go and then I will be out of your hair. Yep. All right, I think that is, that's good. I, I mean, I'm okay, I think. Well, let me see, I might add something here. Put a little bird here. All right, so that's two signatures prepped. Well, first step in the prep. All right, so I'm gonna do the other eight off camera but I hope that you guys all um, enjoyed hanging out with me for a bit today and we will be back for the next phase and um, I think we will uh, I'll catch you guys on that one so I hope that you guys will come and join me for the next phase in the process we're getting close to it being you know ready and prepped for a uh, to be used for art. But anyway, so if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and that is gonna wrap it up for me for now. 
be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.